seven things builders don't tell you before you buy new construction. Today, we are talking about these seven secrets that builders tend to forget to mention. And in today's crazy housing market with bidding wars and homes being on the market for only a few hours before they go under contract, purchasing a brand new home is very appealing. But before you start visiting models and you have your heart set on the ideal floor plan, let's discuss the seven things builders just forget to tell you. Hi everyone, thanks for joining me. I am Lisa McBride with Keller Williams Realty Select in Sarasota and Lakewood Ranch. As your neighborhood expert, I share information all about our beautiful neighborhoods. And even more importantly, I share information about what it's like to live in Sarasota and Lakewood Ranch. I help people move every day and I appreciate your calls. If I can be of any help, don't hesitate to reach out. Now Sarasota and Lakewood Ranch both have their share of beautiful new construction neighborhoods with homes in all price points. Let's dive into a few secrets secrets and tidbits that the builders sometimes neglect or just forget to mention when buying new construction. The first item on my list is that base price does not include your lot cost or any upgrades to the home. Yes, they get you in the door by advertising, you know, starting at and entry level at 400,000. But once it's all said and done, that base price quickly, quickly rises. Now the lots all have a premium. Some can be as low as five to 10,000, maybe 20,000, 30,000, or depending on the neighborhood, as high as three to 500,000. And the lot features are really, really important. Anything that has a water view, and when I say water view, I am not talking about the Gulf of Mexico or the Manatee River. I'm talking about one of the little ponds and lakes that you find in all of our neighborhoods. Water views come with a high premium and then followed by a preserve view. Now, if you're lucky enough to get a little bit of both, maybe you're at the end of a cul-de-sac or at the end of a street and you get preserve and water views, that is going to be the most expensive lot in one of these neighborhoods. And speaking of lots, I think it's really important to know this. You may find the perfect lot, you may find the perfect home, but the perfect home may not fit on this lot or the builder is not building that home on this said lot. Each builder has different lot sizes and many different floor plans. Some plans may have three car garages or they may have the option to have a three car garage, but those homes are only gonna fit on very specific lots. And in today's market, there may only be two of these lots released each month. Builders do work hard at making sure neighborhoods have conformity without being completely cookie cutter. And so there's only so many plans that are gonna fit on so many lots. And so you're finding your perfect home and your perfect lot sometimes is very, very hard. And remember, builders release lots in phases with the first phase generally being closest to the amenities and the entrances. Now, some people will find a lot at the end of a, a cul-de-sac or back away from the gates and they love it, but it is in phase three, which may be years down the road. The number three thing that builders don't like to mention, everything in the model is pretty much an upgrade. Now, who doesn't love walking through a designer model and imagining life with the perfect cabinets and these elegant wall finishes and just beautiful lighting. Everything in here is gorgeous. Well, every one of these items is probably an upgrade. So going back to our base model being maybe 400,000, then you add the lot price and then, oh, you have to have these top of the line cabinets, or maybe you wanna add an outdoor kitchen or maybe eight foot doors. All of this is an upgrade. And general rule of thumb is most people will say to add 10 to 15% over the base price on upgrades. And although you see pools in the backyard, pools are not standard. I will say though, I do recommend working with the pool companies of the builders if this is in your budget and you have the desire to put a pool in. Normally, you're gonna save a little bit of money working directly with the builders pool company that they recommend and also it's just so much easier to have it done beforehand. Again, this does not fit in everyone's budget but it's something to keep in mind. 
The number four thing, it is not required to use the builder's lender. Now, a lot of times the builders will offer incentives if you go with their preferred lenders, and that's great. However, you don't have to do this, and I highly recommend speaking with your approved lender or your local lender that you may have a relationship with. Have them run the numbers, find out the exact closing costs, what the interest rates are because occasionally builders lenders will add a few additional fees and and the overall cost is going to be higher and so when they add the discount it's almost the same as working with your current local lender i think you really need to compare apples to apples when it comes to the lending and you are not required to use their lender so just keep that in mind the number five item that builders may forget to mention the site agent represents the builder and they do not represent you because of this fact most sites agents are great for uh, local agents like myself to work with. We work together all the time as they represent the builder and I represent my buyer. And don't worry, the commission is already built into the price of the home that they're quoting you and you will not be receiving rebates or discounts by going directly to the site agent. And the site agent is there to facilitate and answer all the questions that they definitely know the product very well. However, there are times as agents, we definitely get a little bit more information there's a few things that we can add we can negotiate on or just knowledge we have about certain builders so keep that in mind whether you're working with myself or any other agent in town they are more than welcome to work together with builders you do not have to use the site agent there. The number six thing that they do not tell you, you can indeed have home inspections throughout the building process. For instance, many times I will recommend my clients have two inspections. One right before drywall is up so you can make sure that everything that's going to be inside the walls is done correctly. And then again, you can have an inspection right before closing to make sure nothing's been missed or something hasn't been installed incorrectly. Now builders do offer a home warranty and they will make sure everything is done right. However, you know, people are human and sometimes things are missed. So having a home inspection is a really good option. The number one thing that I think builders aren't mentioning right now, well, they cannot tell you when your home is going to be complete. And in some instances currently, they really can't even tell you when your lot is going to be for sale or when they're going to get started. There's such a process in the building industry right now with shortage of labor, shortage of supplies. It's hard to hit a realistic date as far as closing. And I've seen people wait much longer they, than they had anticipated. Now, I am not disparaging any of our builders because they are not intentionally delaying. And believe me, they want to close as quickly as possible. Unfortunately, builders are only able to release a few lots each month simply because they cannot keep up and materials are hard to get. If you've put down a refundable deposit, they're definitely keeping you updated on what's happening. Or if you're on a waiting list, sometimes these waiting lists can be months and months and months. And if you do get the lot and you have the perfect home ready to go, we're still being delayed. Builders are being delayed through the permitting process. and. So unfortunately, we do not know when something is going to close when you're building. My best advice, if you are buying a new home or you're currently in the process of buying a new home, please keep in mind that the closing date is not set. And if they told you it will be ready January 1, I'm going to caution you that you may need uh, to make sure that you have housing through January and maybe February because there are just so many delays right now. If you have questions about the building process, if you'd like to build a home, give me a call. As I said, I work with builders all the time. I'm in new construction almost daily and I keep hearing more and more. And like some builders do not have waiting list anymore. Some still have a long list. It really depends on the price and the location. If I can be of any help, as I said, I'm always here to help. I really appreciate you calling, reaching out and letting me help you find your next dream home. Thanks so much for watching. As always, take care.